Well, hey, my fellow Belmont, this is I, Rick the Belmont 12. Welcome to Let's Play Lost Planet Extreme Condition. Now, this game was originally released for the Xbox 360 in 2006 or 7 by Capcom. Um, it was also released on PC as well, but the, but back in the day, PC ports and stuff were eh, to be precise. And, um, Lost Planet is no exception. Well, kind of a session. I don't really don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, but Lost Planet. I actually do remember this game when I was young. Or when I was a teenager. Um, I played the demo of this on the Xbox 360 much time ago. And I'd never gotten to play the full version. Because we didn't have enough money back then. But, yep. Now I have it on PC, so here it is. I always wanted to play it on PC because I was more of a PC guy. So, um, that's it. It's also around the time that Capcom was making games with a Western feel to it. Around this time, that Capcom and most Japanese gaming companies wanted to Westernize their games, which is pretty. It had mixed results. But Lost Planet 1 and 2, which is a good exception to that, because I really like 1 and 2. I haven't really beaten the game. I know I played it and I know I liked it, but it's been years. Now here I am, doing a let's play, and we're going to beat the game. We're going to beat the game, and um, Lost Planet 2 has been removed from the Steam store. Probably going to get an update. Maybe. But we'll also see. Again, if you like, like, comment, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell button, join me up on Discord, link in the description below. Hit the bell or join me up on Discord to let you know what I up when my videos get uploaded. If you like the channel and you want to support the channel further, there are two ways, either through Patreon or YouTube membership. Links in the description, description below. Both are optional, both will help out the channel, but both are optional. Let's start a new game. On uh, normal. Yes. It was TC minus 80, 80 years before the trial century. Humankind had abandoned the comfort of a familiar world in order to attempt life on EDN3. As emigration to the new world progressed, facilities were constructed to handle the growing population and colonization appeared to be successful. expansion of the colony, humanity encountered a new alien life form. Known as the Acrid, they were immediately identified as a hostile presence. The humans had no weapons with which to repel Acrid aggression, and were forced to retreat from their new home. Gotta hold them off! We'll do what we can! Marty, surround that one! While fleeing from the enigmatic menace, the humans discovered the precious thermal energy lying within the very bodies of the Acred. It was a powerful new energy source. Suddenly, humankind was determined to fight. Charge! You want 
Humans developed a weapon capable of fighting back against the Acred Scourge, the Vital Suit, or VS. With VS technology, humanity has returned to EDN3, and the Great Colonization Experiment has resumed. Sorry I was late. Better late than never. Platoon A has encountered hostiles. Platoon B, what's your situation? Nothing here yet. Proceeding to the rendezvous point. Understood. I'll see you there. What the... Twenty-two years have passed since the second colonization. The VS has given humanity a means to battle the Acred. But outside of direct combat with the monstrosities, there is no known method of harvesting the precious thermal energy. No new energies. I'm sorry that the, um... Cutscenes were desynced. It's playing at a higher fresh rate, so that's probably why. So I'll probably have to tone that down just a little bit. All right, movement. Mouse to look. WSAD to move. Shift is to rotate, um, turn at a 90 degree angle. Control is to duck. Right click to zoom. First person. Zoom. Shut up, Gale. I know. Middle mouse wanted to switch weapons, but we don't have that yet. Seize a grappling hook. Uh, my controller is vibrating. Let me see if I can turn that off. I don't think I can turn this off. Yeah, I don't think I can turn this off. The controller off. Oh well. You know what? I'll just, um... Yeah, I'll unplug it for now. But the crosshair is green. Use your anchor. Or control, or press C. I'll disengage the lock. Right. Our character's name is Wayne, and I know you're thinking Bruce Wayne, right? Or something like that? I don't know. It looks like a FAMAS. Kinda does. Nah, I can go. You automatically um wire down. Pressing C again to deactivate it. Acrid. Shoot their glowy things in the back. Thermal energy take down Acrid and thermal energy has been stored in their bodies upon release. Upon approaching pools of energy, they'll automatically absorb in the hit energy pod and will be converted to fuel for exposed for the exposure shoot. Thermal energy ever runs below zero, the life gates begin to drop until it reaches zero, results in instant death. Thermal energy is also required to power the harmonizer life support system. When taking damage, harm okay, so basically layman's turns. When you get hit. You will waste T energy to heal. If you 
don't have T energy, you will not heal, and once your life goes down, it's game over. So keep your T energy up. Also, jumping, like jumping and stuff, um, waste more energy. I gotta destroy these pods are and never ending spawning with these guys. Bad. Grab some thermal energy. Okay. Oh, E's melee too, by the way. Pressing E to activate this, right? Rapidly pressing it. Data post restores thermal energy when activated. After initialized data point, it's possible to see enemies using the PDA. A light appears guiding the way to the next data post or the final destination. So it's basically your radar or your compass. Oh. Uh, what? Oh. Boy. No, Wayne, go. Wayne, no, run. Don't fight that thing, run. Follow Doug here. Eh, don't mean killing these guys, but hey, it's only a prologue. Press reload for uh machine Is there a run button? No, there's no run buttons. That acre is really pissed. I'm coming. I'm going. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Got the guns. VS suits. Oh boy. So how do you do this? PTX. There's there's different types of models. Don't worry about that. Jumping and then jump again to hover. I made this a shift, dashing, makes it a shift, and then I don't have trouble buying it. Chainsaw. I think it was. Yeah, Z. Z was that one. Using that also wastes V T energy, so don't fly for that much. Guns. Oh, gotta shoot that thing. Blob. There you go. Intruders in the dome have encountered the green eye. I see. They had the essence, but they're up against the green eye. Would you like us to investigate? Yes, just in case. But take your time. Understood.
understood. <laughs> you should have played alone. You had your chance. Now you will die like dogs. You're full of surprises. That device on your arm is absorbing the thermal energy for use in your body. All done. Yuri, can I come in now? The thermal energy and your arm will be our little secret. It's complicated. Come in! <sighs> Welcome back. Uh, huh? Who are you? Me? I'm Yuri. That's Luca and Rick. Do you remember your name? Wayne. Excellent. You know, you were frozen inside your VS when we found you. Uh, green Eye. Green Eye? The acrid that killed my father. Do you remember anything else? No. Nothing. It might just be temporary amnesia. You should rest. Job's done. Thanks. How's it going? How's what going? Well, you seem to be feeling a lot better. And it looks like you're starting to get used to life here. I don't know about that. Come on inside. I'll fix you something to warm you up. Isn't there some way around? I've tried everything. There's no other way. We can't avoid the acrid if we want to reach our destination. If only one of us could pilot a VS. I can. What? Huh? You can? I remember how to pilot one. We need your help, Wayne. We could use an able pilot. We are trying to eradicate the acrid from this world, one hive at a time. The green eye that killed your father is one of them. We're looking into finding that one, but in the meantime, we could really use your skill. All right. Show me to the first hive. We do know of one in the vicinity, but are you sure you're up to this? Quite. All right. I'll give you the details. Now the game begins. Make your way past the scattered ruins and into the acres hive. Once inside, navigate any obstacle that present themselves and clear out the hive. Acred hive. 
If you activate a data post, it will help you guide you to your mission, mission to your destination, as well as give you a map of the surrounding. You also get a boost of your thermal energy. Whew. Now the game begins. Wayne, you should be able to use that VS. At least it beats walking. I like to walk. Shut up. I like to walk. You know what? Whatever. Ready. Initializing. It's a basic VS suit. No heavy armor, no nothing. It's just a basic jump. Probably get the get the synchronization of the um That I know. Um, items that has um, yellow barriers, like this one, are weapons that you can use. Weapons that have blue barriers are for BS, um, BS armor. Oh, I got you, guy. That bad. Pressing E again. Get you off. So again, the weapons with blue borders around it are v, uh, VS weapons, so... Go. Now we can use middle mouse button to swap. Shotgun. Oh, green. Oh, green. G is grenade. F is for flashlight. Make sure to use your light in the dark. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I'm not that stupid. Hamas. They're crawling all over the place, Wayne. You need to cut the acorn off of the source. What, these things? They're coming out of the wall, Spictus! I could use a grenade. Or a shotgun. And hope. Going on a bug hunt. A mass on machine gun ammo. I mean, why not get to use it? There's no like save thing in here, so if I have to stop in the middle of a mission, I would. Pressing 5 gives you a PDA. Oh, there you go. Vibration off. There you go. Whew. All right. <laughs> That's weird. How do you get the control controls from here? Oh, I don't know. The feeling of snow just really is, you know, calming to me. Equipment like weapons or even a VS might be buried. What, like this thing? It's a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. I might need it for a bit. Did I break that? Nope. The only thing I remember back then is the first mission. Then somehow I just didn't even play this game again. I think now is the time. It's the time that I finally play and beat this game 100%. I don't know why we do this. The loading rocket. You get a delay from shooting the rocket. Yes, you can also use environmental hazards to defeat enemies, but I couldn't even find one in this thing. Maybe I'm... Oh. You know what? Retract what I just said. 
Man, I am dumb. I think Lost Planet 2 is my is my favorite um favorite in the series. There is a three, but oh, it's vastly different and oh I don't know why Capcom thought to make this make that game. Do not understand why Lost Planet 3 is a thing. It's a thing. No, no, no. Ow. Load the shotgun. One acre down. Two are down. I don't know if this game ever got released on um, PC, not PC, PS3 at the time. I don't know. But I do know there's a um, Colonial um, version of this game. And I heard it was not that good. I don't even know if it's like an expansion or something. I don't know. Probably a multiplayer expansion. Get, this game had, did have multiplayer. I mean, what else is there? Like I say, it may never be a one one mission for video, maybe, I don't know. We'll see how the first video goes and then we'll figure it out from there. Acred. Okay. Solves my problem. Bitch. You son of a bitch. Much. All right. Um, so yeah, I am out of time. So when we come back, we'll go into this cave and defeat the source. Hopefully, it's not really the source, but we got some more acres to kill. So when we come back, until then, we'll see you guys next time. Get later.